Hello everybody, Kim here from Solstice Healing and Wellness and today's video is going to be about burning incense or resin with charcoal. Uh, a few of you have asked how do I do this and this is how I do it. Very, very simple, very easy and very fun once you get into it. And I like to use a shell, mostly just because they're beautiful and I always have my shell stand right here. Make sure whatever you that you are using is heat proof and the shell is relatively heat proof. Um, you can use dishes just make sure you have uh, possibly a heating pad underneath it or you can get these stands in the shop very very inexpensive. Um, obviously you're going to need your charcoal you're going to need your resins or incense, whatever you're going to burn, and it's just very simple. So let's get started. First of all, I like to put salt or sand in the bottom of my shell. This is Himalayan sea salt, which I like to use. I'll use the tongs to spread it around a little bit, just because if you don't use something in the bottom of your shell, the bottom of your shell will unfortunately look like this. Uh, yes, my bad. So put some sand in, put some salt in. It just makes it easier for you once the burning is complete. You will need some tongs to manage to hold your charcoal. Both of these kinds of tongs are available in the shop. The rather large ones, which are six inches, and these little tiny ones, which are about four inches. I like the little tiny ones because they have a little scoop on the inside and makes it easy for you to grab uh, the incense or resin that you're using. Now once you have the salt in place and you're going to use this charcoal uh, briquette, this is a self-lighting charcoal briquette and I'll show you why. You don't have to use all of it. You can use a portion of it. Today, we're just gonna light the whole thing. And you can see how it sparks. It does have a slight odor to it. But once it gets nice and lit, you can see it's kind of like little fireworks in the dish. Place that with the rounded side down and the indentation side up because that's the part that you're going to fill. The key most important part of all of this is letting this get really hot like a piece of charcoal that we, you would use on the fire uh, for the barbecue. Like let it get that hot. Let it get smoky white because then you're going to have your best burn effect. So I'm going to open the window just a little bit here, get some air flowing, and I'm going to let this get really hot. This usually takes about four to five minutes. So we'll come back after it gets really hot. Okay, here we are. Back after about eight minutes, and you can see that this is absolutely glowing white hot. If you put your hand near it, it's very hot. It's hot all the way out here about six or eight inches away so be very very careful uh, when you're using this. Um, today I was going to use a little bit of frankincense so all you have to do take your tongs start it right up here on the top and as it starts to heat it will start to smoke and let's let's use a little bit of Palo Santo in there as well. So I don't like to overload it too much um, because you can always add to it. That's why the little tongs are great. You can come back to this and this will smoke if you keep filling up the divot. Um, this will go on for an hour and you can see that you can have as much smoke or as less smoke as you want. Whatever, whatever you want to do. I, I like a lot of smoke. And the little tongs are nice because again even if you wanted to put some uh, things that you're going to burn here today, let's say 
uh, this sage and lavender. If you wanted to go ahead and add some of that on there too, you have a nice fine little mix. You're not overloading the charcoal, but you can add all of it together and you have this beautiful smoke and <laughs> it will be very powerful and will be so nice and then you can just stand in that and let it wash over you. Absolutely beautiful. And when you're done, please remember to extinguish it completely. Probably wash out your shell, wash off your tongs. And as we finish up the charcoal, and the charcoal dies down a bit, if you want to extinguish at any time, you can always just take your salt and cover it completely. And it won't allow the oxygen in, so it will essentially put out the fire. But again, I would take that and definitely douse it in some water, get rid of it in a proper way so you won't have to worry about it. That's what I do, but it's completely up to you. Just be very, very careful. And then you're ready to start again whenever you wish. Thank you for joining me today. Your time is greatly appreciated. And please know that you can buy all of these items in our shop online at solsticejourney.com.